Shortly after the vehicle enters the startup phase, our Very LD, our LD or launch director should give the final go for launch. Let's listen in for those call-outs. Falcon Heavy is in startup. There we go. Falcon Heavy has just entered the startup phase. Go for launch. And with confirmation of go for launch from our launch director, Falcon Heavy is ready to go to space at T minus 37 seconds with the Viasat 3 mission. burning bright there. Falcon Heavy is following a nominal trajectory. And good call out on trajectory. Now again, we're gonna throttle down the side boosters and then the next event coming up in about a minute or just under a minute will be BECO, that's booster engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down the engines on the side boosters and then we will separate the side boosters from the center core. And as a reminder, we are not landing our side boosters or center core today due to performance needed on today's mission. And you can see on your right-hand screen, we do have a view of the separation mechanisms from the center core to the side boosters. Go or booster engine cutoff is coming up here in a few seconds. And back engine chill has started. Booster engine cutoff. Side booster separation confirmed. Both side boosters FTS is safe. Great views there. We had Beco booster engine cutoff, 
and we watched as those side boosters, and you could see them there on your screen, those side boosters falling Vehicle away. Vehicle following an optimal trajectory. Falling away from Falcon Heavy's center core. Awesome views. That's gonna wrap it up for the side boosters today. The next event coming up here in about 30 seconds or so is main engine cutoff. That is also called Miko, and that will be on the center core followed by stage separation and then the startup of our second stage engine. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one FTS has saved. And back ignition. Acquisition signal for Mita. And we got some great views. We watched Miko as the engines on the center core shut down, stage separation, and now you can see on your screen that the MVAC engine has ignited. Now we are coming up on fairing separation. Separation confirmed. And also we're able to see and hear the call out that H2 is following a nominal trajectory. That the fairing halves have separated. They are now falling back down to earth and we will attempt to recover them using our recovery vessel, Doug. What you're looking at on your screen is a view on our second stage looking aft at our MVAC engine. And our MVAC engine on the second stage is currently in the middle of its first burn. This burn has about a minute and a half left. After that, we'll have an additional two burns of our second stage engine before payload deployment. On your left-hand screen, you can see a map of the mission trajectory. And on your right-hand screen is a live view of the MVAC engine. As a reminder, our main payload for today... Stage two continues to follow a nominal trajectory. Good call-outs. Our main payload for today's mission is Viasat-3, and we do have two secondary payloads on board as well from Gravity and Astronus. That is the Gravity Space One and Astronus's MicroGeo satellite. You're just now joining us. We're currently in the middle of the first of three burns for this MVAC engine today. The next event coming up is in just under a minute and 15 seconds. We will have Seco One, or what we call Second Engine Cutoff One. That will end the first of those three burns. Today's mission marks SpaceX's 28th launch this year, 227th overall mission to date, and our fifth operational Falcon Heavy mission.